adopters, but overall I think it looks a lot, and that's Ari on your right, overall it looks a lot like a stock list. On your left though, Chad Page, not yeah. Brad Nelson though. Brad uh, Nelson, yeah, I mean, I, I did just play, but I just lost my game, and it was a very really sad game. Uh, Chad Page, however, is playing Mono Black Poison. For Iker Clamir, for Frexian Crusader, for Plague Stinger, for Whispering Spectre, for Dark Favor, three Dismember, two Doomblade, for Mutagenic Growth, for Virulent Wound, for Despise. It's pretty interesting. Very similar to the deck that was played at uh, Nagoya by uh, Go and Sam Black and that whole crew. Played a mono black discard or mono black uh, poison deck. Whispering Spectre is really interesting with like the Dark Favor because it's just like pump, get them, mill four or like discard four cards. Even with the mutagenic growth, maybe get an entire hand out of the way. I'm pretty excited to see this deck in action. Ari showed his hand to the camera. Unfortunately, we weren't quite able to see it. Uh, <laughs> the camera was it, was it not in the right location. I'm sure we'll see what he's got going on soon enough. Looks like Chad Page is uh, on the receiving end of a mulligan here. Seems like the kind of deck that will mulligan, but it aggressively does so. Ari, uh, once again, I talked to him earlier, and he said that he just feels like Tempered Steel is just the strongest thing you can be doing. People are just playing a bunch of, you know, their brews, and just mm -hmm. wanted to play an insane deck that was extremely powerful. And to place them all the way here, I believe he the is... Uh, I believe he is X1, yeah. All right, so uh, Chad on the left is going to keep his hand, and we're off to the races. Oh, no, he's not. Uh-oh, going down to it five It looked cards. like he was going to keep it, but he's not. So we're going to be uh, seven versus five. That's no good. Temperature already seems like it would be a decent matchup because you get so many creatures into play that are going to stop a lot of the creatures from attacking. Yeah, I think it's going to be a rough... It's going to be a rough matchup for Chad Page, and this game one situation is not helping matters. Yeah, Frexian Crusader is really good, but uh, Ari does have two main deck dismembers. So if he draws one of those against the... Uh, Frexian Crusaders, because this member is so good in this matchup. It's actually just black kill a guy, or colorless kill a guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's really interesting. I want to see Chad's deck in action. Unfortunately, I think we featured a poison deck two or three times under the camera before while I've been doing it, and b every single time it's just gotten a terrible draw and loss. Yeah, so it just got smashed. We'll see, hopefully, see get some action out of Chad Page here. Have you seen any infect under the camera in Legacy? Like some, some shoal action? Not yet, but tomorrow could be the day. <laughs> I would not be too surprised. I mean, it was a very successful modern deck. It you know, could kill on turn two. Yeah. Mental misstep isn't around. I, I mean, could see a lot of people in Legacy being like, hey, I could do that. In, uh, or a lot of people watch the modern that play Legacy and like, I could do that in Legacy. Right, or you don't play Legacy. Oh, I could just play the second Legacy. Yeah. <laughs> Seems good. Add Force Will to it. It sounds like a better card. All right, so let's see... Uh, Hand works out, no action for Chad, just plays a land, passes. Ari Lax uh, starts off with... Vault Scourge, I Vault imagine. Scourge, yeah. Good. Ari's good with those Vault Scourges. All right, Swamp Song for Chad Page, down comes Plague Singer. The cat is out of the bag. Interesting. Ari top decks a late Mem Knight. It's not a Vault Scourge. <laughs> or an early Mem Knight. Or it's not a... Yeah, yeah, Vault Scourge. Mutagenic growth, dismember. Ugh. Ari just two for ones, Chad. After the mulligans. Yeah, oh, brutal. I don't know that I like that block. Mutagenic growth there. Seems like uh, from Chad's position, you'd rather just attack yeah. for three poison, right? Well, Ari did miss his land drop. Did keep a one lander on the draw. Whew. Scary. So if we can see a Frexian Crusader come down, no. No, no Crusades. And we hit the here. land, so. From what looked like maybe Chad getting back into this game isn't going to happen. Well, it's certainly a rough situation. Right. There's a Shrine of Loyal Legions for Ari Lax. All right, so Chad just draws a card, passes. Oh, no. Yeah, this is Spine Thopter for Ari. Text for two more. Chad goes down to uh, 16. And there's Spine Thopter. All that life that uh, Ari's been gaining gets taken away with the Spine Thopter. Which gets Victim... Or, or, what just happened? Doomblade. Yeah. Doomblade. And there's Plague Stinger. All right, the first one went down. Let's see. And Dark Favor. Interesting. 
Would you consider Victory of Night in a deck like this? You do have four Inkbob Nexus, but the rest of your lands are swamps. Victory of the Night? Victim of Night. Victim of Night? Uh, there's Tempered Steel, serving in with that Mimnite. What's Victim of the Night? Uh, destroy target non-monster creature. Oh, uh, maybe, possibly, yeah. It seems like a better card, right? I mean, it's better, but it costs BB, so it's a little more hammering. In a mono-black deck, I think it's fine. I mean, you have four Inkbob Nexus, which is the... It's throwback. still, like, that should be fine. So, uh, Ari keeps back the Evolved Scourge, making sure he just doesn't die to a bunch of pump spells. And Phyrexian Crusader comes down, passes, and decides to scoop. All right. After Ari went to crack his shrine for a couple more guys. <laughs> Ari Lax off to a quick 1 0 start there. Chad Page, not so good. Let's take a look at what Chad has access to in his sideboard. Uh, let's see, Mortar Pod, Phyrexian Bat Mother. Dismember, Geth's Verdict, Marrow Shards, and Surgical Extraction. Yeah, I think he's going to bring in Mortar Pod and probably Marrow Shards. I think the Dark Favors are probably not that good in this this game. Uh, Virulent Wound seems awesome. I still think you keep your Mutagenic Growths. I mean, those might might come out. Like, you're keeping your Virulent Runes, your Dismembers, your Doom Blades, all your creatures. Uh, Mortar Pod's awesome in this matchup. And Marrow Shards is awesome. So those are the two cards for sure coming in. I don't know if uh, a Despise would come out or something, because, I mean, maybe he keeps his Dark Favors in, but I think that card seems pretty weak, don't you? Uh, I think it's going to be weak most of the time. If he gets down, like, Plague Stinger, he could just easily put Dark Favor on and go mm -hmm. to town. I mean, remember, the Tempest Steel deck doesn't have Ornithopter anymore, so it definitely changes the paradigm. It's harder for them to deal with the Flyer, but he knows Ari's going to bring in removal to deal with them, yeah. right? So well, even if you get it equipped, like, your Glinthawk Idols are able to, like, block it and trade right. and... Your Vault Scourge with Tempered Steel. Like Spine Stoppers and stuff. It just seems like you don't want to get two for one after sideboarding. Yeah, right? and especially like other removal spells, it'll easily become two for ones. Like so, Ari's going to bring in anything that kills a guy now. Because right. that's like the thing you do against, in fact, is you bring in anything that kills something. Right, even, even in Limited, that was the plan. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the sideboard for Ari Lax, Living Ring certainly come yeah. in. Uh, a Gideon Jura, that's interesting. He might bring that in. Gideon, I would imagine, would come in. Uh, Spellskite comes in. I mean, he saw Mutagenic Growth and Dark Favors on a little bit of removal. It seems like a good card. Yeah. Shuts down a couple of the proactive cards in Chad's deck and his removal spells. And Oh, he just flashed the camera what he was boarding out, but we missed it. <laughs> oh, alright, alright, alright. Spellskite? Yeah, he brought in Spellskite. Gideon. He did bring a Gideon in. Yeah. Br brought in Spellskite and Gideon. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Man, that's pretty neat. Like as a commentator, Ari's like, you know, I understand I want to make the commentator's job a little easier. Want yeah. want to help the viewers out at home, so we appreciate that, Ari. Oh yeah, it's a great move. Thanks for uh, thanks for showing us. It's easier to cards. think about that kind of stuff too when you're up a game. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's like uh, I'm playing against Mono Black Poison. I have all these awesome cards. It seems like a pretty good matchup for Ari. Yeah, it's gotta feel good in a, such a late round when you're almost to make top eight to play like this deck. And I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying like. Seems like a good matchup for Tempers. Yeah, though. but it's like you're playing against like a mono-colored Infect deck. You're like, this is much better than playing against a good player playing Esper right now or something like that. Unless it's the breakout deck, but I mean, I mean, I think it's just more that it's just a good matchup. Like whenever I sit down and I play against a good matchup, like playing for something, I'm happy, you know. And this seems like a pretty good matchup for Ari. Of course, Chad is potentially capable of some good draws, but. It's not going to be easy. If he draws enough virulent wounds, draws enough mortar pods, marrow shards at the right time, it could work. Oh, of course. So, I always got some cards you can bring in. Do you think he wants some of the slower cards, a like hero blade hold here? Or do you, yeah. do you want to shave down some of those? Well, it depends. It depends what he takes out. Like, I think that, like, shrines, probably a very slow card in this matchup. I'd probably take out my shrines first. Um, the Lunark is is really slow like a couple heroes doesn't seem bad especially if you're trying to race like you need to keep in your like action cards <laughs> both monocolor decks both all planes and all ink cloth nexus yeah <laughs> fighting it out winner of this match has got one more round to win and maybe they can draw into top 8 potentially so it's getting serious yeah Ari, no stranger to the pressure. Top 80 in a 500-person tournament, that's just got to feel good. You, you would know nothing about that, right? I mean, t it does, 80. but it's been so long. <laughs> I guess that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, 
how big was DC? It was huge, like right? Nineteen something. Yeah, that's insane. And you're, and you're just like, get get that spot, like take it all down. Just, I mean, I got snuck it, in. Yeah, so good. Yeah, it was like the craziest make top eight because. So I'm I'm X and three with three rounds to go, and I'm like I'm just playing magic now, and uh, I play out my rounds, and I'm like oh like I might be in top of contention, whatever. We'll see what happens, and I never got too excited. I never went over to the pairings. Like I remember Ari like you know desperately looking through the standings in that top eight and like trying to figure out if he makes it, and like everyone else is doing, it, and I'm just like you know walking around listening to music, and then. Going in, going into the like, parents go up and I'm like, all right, or standings go up and I'm like, all right, time to figure it out. Someone comes up and is like, pats me back, congratulations. Then finally I'm like, yeah, I'm in top eight, I made it. Then somebody else is like, sorry, man. And so then I'm like, actually flustered about it now, so I have to run over and look because I just got told I made top eight and then told I didn't. Right. And you did, of course. Then the way this story ends, by the way, is Brad Nelson's of winning the tournament. Yeah, I won the tournament. And then you flew to San Juan and made top eight. So here we are, off to the races. We have uh, turn one of Volt Scourge. Our relax is super uh, common play. Dismember. Oh, was that a dismember or a variant wound? Oh, it could have been a wound. Yeah, they, they wrote on the life. Well, both cards you have to write on the life total. All right, there comes the Plague Stinger from Chad Pitch. Uh, turn two spells, Skite. So those uh, dark favors are not going to be too great right now. Serves so one neither, neither. So far, we have to see what if Ari gets a poison cutter. Chad loses for life. <laughs> Multiple plague stingers. All right, Ari loses the life. All right, temper still. He has a two four in play. Response to dismember spell skite. All right, spell skite down. Wow, that is much more robust draw for Chad here. Yeah. Land number four serves with two stingers. Ari right, goes to four in poison counters. And a Batmother. Whew, Batmother. It's a big guy. I didn't expect him to bring those in, but 4-5 is pretty huge. Yeah. You got to get the beats on somehow. We're going to talk idols pretty big. I'll be able to block those Plague Stingers nicely, but... Yeah. Are you sitting at three poison? Four poison. Four poison. One from Virulent, one from the first Plague Stinger attack, two from the, two atta the attack with both. Ari gets despised. I wonder what he took out then. Like, if he's still playing despised, he must have took out Mutagenic Growth and Dark Favor and just took all his pump spells all out. All his target removal, sure. And that, right. that's it. Ari scoops wow. it out. That's even faster than Ari beat Chad in the first yeah. game. Wow. Two really quick games, one in each. And being on the play for game three is certainly going to aid Ari, but we'll see what happens. Both players are trying to bash as fast as possible, and it's really working. Ari, uh... I talked to him earlier. He's pretty excited about playing uh, Legacy tomorrow. He gets to play his favorite deck, Storm. Now the Mental Misstep is gone. Yeah. He had a lot of success with it, top aided. Oh, yeah, Teps. Yeah, I, yeah. The, uh, or Ant, or it's Ant is it's called. It's Ant now. It's uh, Teps, uh, an extended, was the extended Perfect Storm. Ant is Ad Nauseum Tendrils. Uh, you know, you could, you, there's all kinds of ac acronyms. You could say TPS, the Perfect Storm. This all boils down to the same thing. You have Tendrils of Agony, filled by Rituals. And Extended, you would Mind's Desire, and Legacy, you don't. But other than that... That was a really unfair card to play with. Mind's Desire. I, it, I always thought it was very interesting, because Mind's Desire was instantly banned in Vintage, um, was banned in Legacy, but it was never banned in Extended. So you could play with it in Extended for that whole time. And obviously the formats are different. You know, there's no Dark Ritual or anything yeah. like that. But I always thought it was interesting that it was a card that, oh, it's going to be fine in Extended, but it really dominated. I mean, it, it went in and out, but I think it, part of the reason why it didn't dominate is just because not enough people played it. Uh, mm -hmm. The deck was just so powerful. I mean, it, it could kill on turn three most games. Um, that's pretty, that's insane. Turn, turn three, turn four most games. I mean, the, I remember the tournament that LSV and Jerry and those guys brought it back, and LSV pretty easily won the, uh, the Grand Prix in LA with it. Um, I mean, that was, that was it just sliced through that tournament. <laughs> it's crazy. I, uh, yeah, I, I was playing the Mono Blue Fairies deck at that tournament, and it was uh, the Teps. The Teps matchup was so close, and I think the if you're piloted by a good player, it's, you just have that edge uh, with, if you're playing the the Teps matchup. The oh, Teps that's side of the deck. Like you know, basically whoever, whoever is the better player, I felt really had an edge in that matchup. It was very skilled. Games went really long and the game, games went long. I mean, they got down to like Vendelian Click Plus. 
Riptide Lab a lot. Like I, I beat Jerry day, late, late into day two, but I mean I watched all he just demolish Wizards players all day. who just you know mm-hmm. weren't you know on his level. Yeah, just weren't on the same level. I, mean, I think you might have beat two different players playing the Mono Blue Wizards deck on route to the top eight or to yeah. the winning the thing. I mean that guy like eight. really can like just play Magic in such a way that it's it's an art form. Like watching Paulo like couple tournaments before I start playing professionally I, I watched Paulo play and it was kind of magic and like Luis still does that to me like I understand a lot of Paulo's plays but I never understand Luis's plays like when he gets really deep in the tank it's really impressive still to watch him this day and like be amazed at some of his lines <laughs> won the best for a reason alright so we're getting ready for game 3 and uh, round 8 two more rounds left and then we have a top 8 match and then quarterfinal time it's it's amazing. Just once again, this format's going so fast. This match has yep. taken you know what ten minutes, fifteen <laughs> minutes so far. More time has been spent shuffling, and no fetch lines have been cracked. I mean, it's insane. Well, yeah. I mean, you look at the decks from the past. I mean, it was more grindy, and we don't know what the grindy decks are anymore. Right. Liliana can win a game pretty fast too. <laughs> no Liliana's to be found here, though. Just all kinds of creature smash em ups. Arya kept his hand super fast. Chad going. To think about his for a little while. He mulligan down to five. All right. And he keeps. He's going to keep. Game one, he mulligan down to five. Plays first. Swamp, and then a spell sky comes right. down, gets dismembered. So Ari does not have fast draw. No, does, for the first time I think we've seen. playing lightning fast, too. No <laughs> Vault Scourge. Well, I mean, you know, want to end the game in record time. All right, he has that Gideon in hand. And That's so powerful if that if that resolves. I guess to hope he doesn't get despised. All right, there is Spine Thopter, which can block that uh, Plague Stinger very easily. If it lives, like, he has a ton of removal spells. Like, Chad has tons of removal spells to get through that thing. Board is Plague Stinger versus Spine Thopter. All right, so Ch- Chad doesn't have a virulent wound, or he would have already done that, but serves in trade. I mean, I can't. Ari can be more happier yeah. to... Ari's got Gideon in hand. All right. Oh, is that a oh, Frexing Crusader? So Ari goes for uh, Glintock Idol plus Vault Scourge while Chad plays Frexian Crusader. Gonna bash through. Uh, I, yeah, Chad plays Whispering Inspector as a land. Realizes that it's not a land. So back up. <laughs> Is that what just happened? Yeah. Oops. Silver so probably gonna play it. We'll see. No, it goes for no. a Bat Mother. Oh. Ari needs to. If he's got dispatches in his hand, which I imagine he's got some kind of removal spell, he needs that third artifact. All right, it's hero time. Ships the turn. Right. Some big creatures coming down for Chad. So do you think that Vault Scourge is just going to like jump in front I of I think it has mother? to. Like he's dead to a mutagenic growth that he's already seen. Yeah, and he yeah. jumps in front of there. Ari will go up with the four poison here. Now Ari hopes to top deck a land to play Gideon. Yeah, if, he, if, oh, if he plays that Gideon, it is going to be a gigantic, gigantic asset in his favor. Oh, another Jeez. Bat Mother. The hits just keep on rolling. Well, I don't need removal spells, Chad's thinking. He's just, I need a bunch of big creatures with Infect on them. Oblivion Rings of Bat Mother. Okay. Okay, so now... Ari's gonna, Starts the race. He's going to make a risk. He's gonna oh, well, now it's not a race anymore. Like, if Chad doesn't have anything, he can't attack with both his creatures. But if he... If oh, he has Marrow Shards. Shards. Okay, so there, there's the technology Marrow Shards we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Get sure about those tokens. Um, Puts them down to 11. Now, if Chad has a removal spell, Ari loses. If Chad doesn't, then maybe Ari can get something going here. But Ari has to block with his Glintock Idol on that Vat Mother. He serves with both. Yep. Activates, plucks the Vat Mother, goes up to 6 poison. Ari's sitting at 6 poison. There's a Whispering Spectre. Alright, Ari needs a land. I don't think he found it. Uh, it was too fast for me. Ari plays very fast. He does play pretty fast. All right, gonna serve. Ari attacks with the hero. All right, what does Chad do with the Whisper Inspector? I think Ari drew another Oblivion Ring. That'll work. Cool. Can turn out what Chad draws, kinda, yeah. Really live on the top of Chad's deck right now. All 
It depends on how he sideboarded. Not a lot of cards are live right now. I guess if he top decks Mortipod, he's live. Mortipod, mutagenic growth. If he kept it in, like yeah. we don't know. Dark favor. All right, so he takes it and then. So yeah, Mortipod, Mortipod, or mutagenic growth. Other than that, I think Chad's dead. Oh, well, Chad could draw marrow shards too. Yeah, and block. And then he's the blocker. Oh, double Oblivion Ring by Ari there. That was a good good draw. Still sitting with that Gideon in his hand. All right, Chad's thinking so long, I don't think he has it. Usually when someone goes deep this deep in the tank at this, like, with a board like this, he's... I think there are two lands in Chad's hand. I'm not sure what his third guard is. Yeah, I agree. It's not like it looking good for Chad Page here. Yeah, I think just he's trying... his body language, just how he's presenting himself. All say bad things for him right now. It's pretty awesome though, he almost took this. Alright, drops already to nine poison. Three swamps, yeah. oh man. Brutal, Ari Lax in a nail biter. It's mono black poison. Yeah, Takes Link of the Outs, Virulent Wound, Mortipod, Mutagenic Growth, and Dark Favor, depending on what was in his deck of those cards. And Amaro Shards. Decent amount of outs he needed to draw. Yeah, I mean, Chad had Quite a few outs there, didn't find any of them. Instead, just found a tri 